Hey guys, so I just want to show you something. I got a package in the mail of my white coat and it's something that we have to purchase ourselves. So I was able to customize um, like the writing and everything for myself. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys. So you guys have probably seen me wear my student one for really <laughs> like a long time. And I really like this brand called The Minimalist. It's also called um, Healing Hands. And I really just like their material because it's very soft and it's actually fabric and not just a paper type of material. And even when I went on rotations, residents would always ask like where my coat was from because it just looked really, really nice quality. And so my engraving on my student one obviously says um, PAS, but after taking the boards and graduating and all of that, I will be a certified PA. So we have to switch it to PAC instead of PAS. So I got a new one. And then this one's also longer because that's just the length that it's supposed to be when you're a practicing clinician. So the new one says PAC. Um, it's just really cool to see myself kind of go through this whole process and go from being undergraduate to then didactic year, clinical year, and then now research. It's just, I'm so glad that I've gotten it all on camera because it's something that I really truly hope that I can one day look back on and reminisce about the difficulties of PA school. So I, um, I'm wearing regular clothes right now, but I wanted to try it on in the mirror just to show you guys what the coat would look like. So this is what the coat looks like. Um, and it's honestly like a little bit past my knee. I would say my knee's right here. So it's a, it's a good length. You can definitely tell that this is like a full length white coat. And then also it's got so many pockets. So it's got these ones, right? And then inside of here, it's like an actual smaller one in the big one. And then I have one on the inside, I think. Oh, I have one on the inside on this side as well. And then I also have this one um, and the pocket up here. And then also, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but a lot of white coats will have this kind of hole on the side. And the reason is because you'll be wearing like your pants. And so what you can do is if you button this up, you'll be able to reach into your pants pockets through this pocket. And a lot of people don't actually know why that hole is there, but that's the reason why that's there. My friends and I will be taking photos um, on Friday with our whole graduation outfit and get up and stuff. So I'm really excited for that because it's gonna be a little bit warmer than it actually has been. So I'm trying to use this opportunity to take photos before it gets way too cold outside. I'm just excited. Like we're making so much progress with our research project and things like that. And, and graduation is just coming up so fast. I'm really excited to one, be done with school because I just want to start working and getting to see patients and stuff like that. Um, but two, it's just, it's very exciting because it's a new chapter in my life. Like I'm really becoming a full adult that's going to be making money and things like that. So it's just crazy how fast this whole process is going. And I think if you are going to embark on PA school soon, you're going to soon realize how fast it's going to go. And I hope you enjoy every second of it. Good morning, guys. Um, today I have a clinical exam, so I'm wearing business casual. Um, and I kind of just thought that I would come on and talk to you guys about what happened yesterday. So I was involved in a car accident and essentially like someone ran into the back of my car. Um, so obviously yesterday and today I'm still feeling a little bit of like the whiplash and the repercussions of getting hit in the back. Honestly, it was a really scary experience and I wish that no one ever has to go through that because of just how scary it is. And um, I, w I think I would classify it as a high impact mechanism just because of how fast 
the car was coming, but I also don't know how much I'm allowed to talk about it. So I kind of, I'm just gonna be very vague um, and just say that I was involved in this accident where someone ran to the back of my car and that I'm feeling a little sore and stiff. Um, and I think that's normal. And so I, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys that, but I just got up. I'm gonna review a little for my exam and um, I won't be able to drive my car for a while while it gets fixed. So one of my friends is picking me up today, but um, just wanted to give you guys that little bit of update to keep you in the loop of what is going on. Can you tell my viewers what happened today? Brittany is um, a superstar and famous <laughs> and got recognized at school. Oh my God, it was the weirdest thing. And she gave good TA advice. What did I say to him? I mean, you gave very like good, you were just kind of like no your antibiotics, no like the coverages. I told him no like the little details that like boys are like to like highlight and stuff like that. Oh so, yeah, like, like no. The yellows, the reds. Yeah. This kid just stopped us as we were walking and he was like, um, are you guys in the pee program? <laughs> She's vlogging! She's right? talking about her no, experience talking, yeah, today. I'm talking about how that kid came up to us and he's like, are you in the pee program? And I was like, yes. And then, pretty like, famous. Yeah, pretty famous. I'm a friend of a famous friend. I know. Yeah. Did you hard. get their autograph? Yeah, it was really funny. Um, it, it was funny because you guys saw it like as it was happening. Because I feel like most of the time I'm by myself. Okay? Mm. We got to witness it. Yeah. Donate blood at your local blood center. We did the blood drive today. Do you have um? I oh, where's your sticker? My sticker's over here. <laughs> I don't have my bandage out right now. Good morning, guys. I am just opening up a package that I got from Amazon and i love these pens i cannot rave about them enough i first started using them when i was on rotation and i needed like a multicolored pen and of course i got like these where it's just your regular like black red blue but then i am also a really big fan of just like fine point tip pens and this wasn't doing it for me it was it, these worked but they weren't what exactly I was looking for and so when I was on one of my rotations I found this pen that I absolutely loved and so I got a box of them I think it was like six for five dollars it wasn't even that much and um this is what they look like they come in six different colors I had the blue one initially so i have my pencil case here this is the one that i've been using all along and the red ink and i think the green ink are running out i still have some ink in this one but i just i love these pens and so i decided to stock up on them because they were on sale i'm literally such a nerd about these types of things but now i have my favorite pens and I'm ready to start studying for my boards which is something I have to do right now because this entire last week I've been studying for epidemiology and research design um, and analysis so I haven't had the chance to study for my boards recently so now I'm trying to catch up on my schedule I'm so happy about these if you guys are curious they're called clink I don't know why that's the name of the brand but it is so i got that and then i also i'm just like a sucker for household things and i love using my metal straws at home but i've seen a lot of people just like talk about glass straws and, and stuff like that so i got a pack of four and these have um like a bent shape in them so that they kind of just like sit like that in a cup and you don't have to have your cup tilted. <laughs> Tiffany, what did you, Tiffany, literally, what did you do? 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 Tiffany, literally
Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't know if I like it. You mean you don't know if you like it? We're watching. It's not like you imagined. Hi guys, so I went to TJ Maxx after my exam today because we had to take another EOR, but this was more for like practice. And so my school tries to give us more exam practice so that we're sitting for longer periods of time to kind of build up our endurance for the pants, which is a five hour exam. So we took an EOR today and then we had the choice to pick two that we want to take. Um, so I chose the ones that were more inclusive of all types of kind of medicine and not just specialized. And so I chose internal today. And then my next one's going to be family medicine. Just kidding. My next one's going to be emergency medicine. But um, my friend and I have this kind of thing where we will go shopping after exams as like a ritual to kind of treat ourselves after having to sit through those exams. So we went to TJ Maxx and I got this rolling cart. And this is something that I've always really wanted, not for any particular reason, but more because I just love organization and stuff like that. So I'm thinking I could either put this in my room or I could put it in the bathroom and put all of my toiletries on it because right now it is just so like messy and I don't love it. So I just finished building the cart. Honestly, it's like, it's pretty sturdy. Although I think the one that I was looking at, I think on Ikea, the cart itself was also metal, but this is plastic. So I don't know like how much this can actually hold. Um, although I do think that this one's also a little wider, which is nice. So this is what the cart looks like. So I just tried to put it in the bathroom and the place that I want to put it, it, it does fit. It just doesn't look right. And so I'm thinking like, what if I put all of my makeup products on this? Although this isn't, I don't have that much makeup to begin with, but if I put my makeup products on this and then kind of just like wield it over to where I do my makeup, then that would work, I guess. I'm not really sure. Hi guys. So because I haven't, um, <laughs> Um, because I got into the accident last week, I haven't had a chance to go cycling um, just because I was trying to take it easy. So last Friday, I started going back to the gym just slowly. And then yesterday I went to the gym. My legs are shot because I haven't worked out in a while. And then today I'm gonna start going cycling again. So we're gonna see how that goes because my legs are literally, like it hurts to bend down and squat right now. So I don't know how effective today's cycling will be but i came across this class that's like taylor swift themed so i'm really excited about that and i i want to take that one so that's what we're gonna do hi guys i don't know if i told you guys this but i'm going to nispa this weekend which um is for new york state physician assistant i'm forgetting a p i don't know what it is profession anyways it's a convention that is for the PAs in New York and so my school is asking a couple of us to go to try to represent our school so I decided that it'd be a good way for me to network and get to know more people especially since I'll be working soon so um, I just finished packing everything in my luggage and then right now I'm gonna go to the gym to cycle but before I go I was watching Brooke Michio's YouTube videos and she was talking about this product that she really liked called Divi. It's a scalp serum and apparently it's supposed to help um, improve the appearance of thin hair, nourish your hair follicles, and detoxify any product buildup. So her trick to using this because it's first of all it smells like mint but aside from that it's 
it's like an oil product and so you don't really want to use it when you're out and about all day so her trick was to put this in your hair before you go to the gym and then because you're already sweaty like no one really cares and then you wash your hair afterward and that way it kind of marinates on your scalp for a little bit so that's what i'm going to do right now